and welcome to On the Shelf episode number 35 of... Brutal Battle. We are doing more of these. Yeah. Um, we initially put out two. This was the third to go with it, but we put some other episodes out because we didn't get around to this. Oh, we got more beer! <laughs> we got more beer in that time, so I think we have enough for three more after this. Maybe. We thought about going back to mystery beers, but then we were just kind of like, uh, we want to know what we're drinking for a little bit. There's just so <laughs> many hazy. I know. It's so much just weird stuff. But, um, yeah. So, here we go on the shelf. Uh, the first one is an oldie, but hopefully still a goodie. I'm assuming still a goodie because of the brewery. It's been out for a little while. I wonder if they have the date code on here. I'm sure they do somewhere because yeah. it, it's Trogue's Independent Brewing out of Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is one of their big ones that had for quite some time a huge following. I don't know if it still does. It might still, but... I feel like there's still some hype around it. I used to get like super excited about it every year. This Would was... you say what it was yet? No. Oh. It was always like January, February releases happening, and I would always look forward to it. This was the hoppy beer that got me into very hoppy beers, and that is... Nugget Nectar. Nugget Nectar. It says freshest by May 4th. Oh, okay. Well... But you don't know what their, like, standards yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. How, the- how far out. But, I mean, I'm sure they've kind of tested it because they're such a big... Brewery that's been a long, around for a long time, they've employed a lot of scientific methods with trying to figure out how to make the best beer and maintain it. So I'm sure that that's, they've tested that. And they're pretty consistent. I lo- We love Trogues. Um, it's 7.5% and Nugget Nectar is an amber, hoppy amber, right? Yep. It's just like, it's like an imperial amber IPA in essence. And it's um, 93-ish. IBUs. Yeah. And it's a 12 ounce bottle. 12 ounce bottle. Still doing that. Yeah. So I do remember a long time ago when we were going to their old location in Harrisburg that was really small and they were not like super popular. I remember that th- that we did one of their tours and they had said that they that they like kept some beers for the batches and would like taste them every like certain amount of months. Just to figure out... um, Peak freshness? Yeah, yeah. Like, when when does it start to degrade? When is it at its best? When does it get to a point where you're like, oh, well, it's still good. And then when does it hit that point of like, yeah, we don't recommend this. So, I knew they were doing that back then. I'm sure it's even more precise now. So, it's beautiful. It's clear. It's amber. Yeah, it's just like... like yellow or orangey red. It's like clear orange. Yeah. Beautiful. This is how I remember the color of this beer being... Clear beer is just so wonderful to see now. <laughs> and Trogues has a lot of it. And for the anybody Ooh. listening who hasn't been to Trogues, you need to go. Yeah, it's it an, experience. an experience. It's yeah. a very awesome experience. <sighs> There's so much malt backbone. Very malty. I love very, that. Very, like, syrupy. Mm-hmm. Also very juicy at the yeah. same time. Yeah, it's like... Super dehydrated orange because yes. it's like really concentrated sweetness from the malt that's rolling in with that orange smell. Um, it's, I mean, it smells like pure lupulin. Like you can tell this is super hoppy. It smells so yeah. good. Just it smells so familiar too. Yeah. Aw. That's kind of all I'm getting. It's it's the very strong on everything we mentioned, and that's. There's some bitterness on the nose, but not as much bitterness as I assumed we would be getting based off how hoppy it is. Um, it smells mm. wonderful. I just love that I'm smelling such a malty backbone to it. Mm. This is just as I remember. This oh, yeah. is a very tasty beer. There's a decent amount of bitterness on the finish. Um, it's not a lot, though. Like, it's no. kind of like medium, medium yeah. high. Sure. Definitely get a lot of that, like, dehydrated orange we were talking about. A lot of sweetness from the malt, which is totally cool because I feel like that really helps with balancing out higher IBUs, and that kind of takes down the ill effects that you can get from the bitterness from that, you know, higher hop rate. Such a well-balanced beer. Mm Mm-hmm. It's very good. Very approachable. It's, It's a bit syrupy, too. It is a little syrupy. It's a little syrupy. I like it, though. Yeah, it's, um, 
I'm into it. I'm a fan. I mean, I'm still a fan. Now, they do a double nugget nectar. Yes, they We do. have had it. I don't remember it one way or the other, though. I think we liked it, but we were kind of like, we'd rather have regular nugget nectar, because it just seemed like the ABV was just yeah. not that's, necessary. That's you know? kind of how I feel about their blizzard of hops, and then their double blizzard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I prefer the single blizzard. Yeah. Yeah. More is not always best. Yeah. And especially I mean, when it comes to ABV. The other one wasn't a, not a bad beer, just not yeah. my preference. Right. So, oh yeah, let's drink some water. So the second and final beer of the episode, tickle it in there. Hopefully it's not one of those beers that's just like pureed stuff that we don't just, like. like. Sludge. Um, but this is a brewery that just recently showed up in our area and it they're... Drecker, um, they are Drecker Brewing Company from Fargo, North Dakota. So I don't think we've had. Have we had anything from North Dakota? I have no I idea. Don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. So this is their Chonk. It's a Sunday sour with mango and marshmallows. I'm trying. Oh, yeah, and it lists everything: pale two row and carafoam malts, hops are Magnum, Hollow Tau Blanc. Uh, the flora, lactobacillus culture, house ale yeast, uh, and then mango, marshmallows, and lactose added. They call that gimmicks, gimmicks. which I, I think that. is so pretty I, funny. Yeah. And then it has that attention contains and contains a significant amount of fruit, so please keep cold at all times. Separation is normal. Give can a gentle roll or two before opening. We already did the well. Yeah. Here, let me do another roll real quick because it's been sitting there a little bit. This is 6.7% alcohol. It's a 16-ounce can. Our first try of trucker. Yeah. Oh, and I need to say it's called Chunk because there's like a fat orange cat <laughs> on the front. And that's a Chunk. Okay, so here we go. And they had another, was it another chonk or just another fruited sour? Uh, they had another regular fruited sour, and then I think these are the individuals who also had that pizza sour. Oh, yeah, which wasn't there when we were went back this time. I guess, uh, you know, I guess people saw that and they were like, pizza sour sounds ridiculous, gotta try it. Okay, it looks like juice. It looks like tangerine juice, grapefruit juice, kind of. I mean, it's yellow and... Yeah, you can't see through thick. it. Yellow and you can't see through it. Yeah, it looks kind of thickish. Very mango-y. Ooh, I get a lot of marshmallow. Well, I mean, it's like vanilla. Like, I know that it's the marshmallow, but it's vanilla. Yeah, I get the vanilla, but it's just like mango in my face. Like that pininess that yeah. you get from a mango. Yeah, 100%. It, yeah, it's got like that... Like, mango to me has like a bit of like a citrusy tropicality mixed with a pininess. And yeah, I definitely get that, like you're so saying. So mango-y. Lots of that vanilla. It yeah. smells very creamy. Yeah. It smells good. It smells juicy. It smells... Yeah. I mean, There's also a burnt rubber smell, though. If you if you take a deep sniff, it smells like burnt rubber in there. Which is weird. It's very tasty. It is good. It is good. I like... Little too thick, almost too sweet. Um, yeah, it's it's stepping over the line a little bit for me. I still with like the it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink it and enjoy it. It is good though. It does it does still kind of taste like a beer, mm-hmm. so that's good. A lot of times with these that have a lot of puree to them, um, they'll not taste like beer. They'll just taste like straight up juice. This still does taste like a beer, so yeah. I will give it that. But yeah, I think you're right on the sweetness. It's a little... Almost. I don't think it's too sweet, though. I think it's drinkable. I'm, I'm going to drink this beer. Yeah. Lots of mango. Yeah. The vanilla is more subdued than I... Mm-hmm, than it is. In the nose. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you get like a very light tartness to it, but it actually mm-hmm. comes off as like a natural fruit tartness. So that kind of works in favor for the beer. It's quite tasty. It is good. I do like it. I see why they call it a Sunday sour. Yeah. Because it does have that kind of like whipped cream with fruit mm. type thing. The thickness. Yeah. It's good. And it, yeah, it is relatively thick. But yeah, pretty good beer. Um, Good good first taste of beer from North Dakota. Yeah. All right. So which one would you give the win to on this one? I think it's going to be the same. But mm, it's got to be Nugget Nectar. Yeah, it's going to be Nugget Nectar. The chonk, the chonk is good, obviously, but the Nugget Nectar is... 
very good. And it's also hard yeah. because, like, you know, they're completely different. Yeah. But, um, but we've been doing that for how long? I know, now? <laughs> and it still gets me every time. But I think, like, what beer do I want to go back to more? Am I more excited to drink? Is the Nugget Nectar? If you, after having this chunk, if you go back to the Nugget Nectar, it thins the body out and it makes it that you can perceive the bitterness more oh, and you can wow. perceive more of like a piney hop. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. For sure. It's definitely better. More better. And it's easier to drink. It gets like more sessionable that way because you just had something a lot thicker in your mouth. So hmm. anyway. Both tasty brews. Yeah. Um, very good. It was a good episode. Yeah. It's not a very long episode it is what it is, but uh, rate us and review us through whatever podcatcher you use. iTunes helps us, helps us the most. Uh, word of mouth, tell people about the podcast. We would appreciate that. You can get back episodes at BrutalBattle.com or Archive.org. Just search Brutal Battle. And on the website, there are also pictures. But there are also pictures on... Instagram, Brutal Battle Podcast. And speaking of social media, we are also on the beer social media untapped. I am Carlton Malibu, all one word, spelled as it sounds, and you are... Ruby Reb 62. And then I guess the final thing is, if you want to reach out to us, you have certain beers you want us to try, things you want us to talk about, formats you want us to do, whatever, BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. Or if you just want to say hi, you can do that too. Um, yeah. Or talk beer. But thanks so much for checking this episode out. And until next time. Keep it brutal. I feel so-